Welcome to our lecture online. In this video, we're going to talk about volcanism on Mercury. The study of volcanism is called volcanology. And it turns out that we found as many as 51 sites where we had large deposits of pyroplastic flows. Now, pyroplastic flows are things that we see sometimes on the Earth. We've seen perhaps pictures of it on TV. Those are those massive clouds of gas, hot gas and material that flows down the mountain under the force of gravity at very high speeds engulfing anything in its path. Very dangerous because those gases reach temperatures of as much as a thousand degrees centigrade. And so survival is not likely if you get overwhelmed by those pyroplastic flows. Now those are common on the Earth. They still occur, but we found evidence of 51 of those on Mercury. Now it turns out that most if not all of those happened a very very long time ago, probably billions of years ago. Now 90% of those pyroplastic flows were found at the bottom of large impact craters. So we assume that that was the result of a large impact, a big rock, a big meteor causing a big crack in the surface with lava coming out, hot gases coming out, also from the heat generated from the impact, and then that deposit itself over the bottom of those large craters. There were some others that were found by low profile, um, that were formed by low profile shield volcanoes. Now shield volcanoes are volcanoes that are basically put in one position. Well, volcanoes don't typically walk around, of course, but what we mean by that is that on the Earth, a volcano will be active for a while and then become dormant because the activity that causes a volcano to be active moves below the crust. Now with shield volcanoes that's not the case. Things remain constant and so the activity that happens below the volcano remains below the volcano and the volcano will grow and grow and grow in size. Now on Mars we have some very large shield volcanoes, even on the Earth we have some large shield volcanoes, but not necessarily here on Mercury. They're what we call low profile, very small, not very tall volcanoes, but we do see that there was some volcanic activity and some pyroplastic flows from those volcanoes. Again, we believe a very, very long time ago. Now we do see what we call smooth plains and that's caused by flood volcanism. So when there's volcanic activity and the, vol and the volcanic material just flows across the surface, basically making everything very smooth, and then we can gauge the age of that volcanic flow by the number of craters we find on the surface. Again, with Mercury, there's no real place on the surface where there's these flows with virtually no, no uh, impact craters on them. Everywhere we look, lots of impact craters. So even though we see evidence of what we call smooth planes of volcanic activity, where volcano, volcanic matter is smoothed out over the surface. A lot of craters have been formed after that, indicating that those activities probably happened a very long, billions of years ago. So volcanism, yes, it did exist. It probably doesn't exist today in any real form. And so whatever we have found so far was probably dating back to very many many years ago. And again, in terms of billions, I like that word, billions of years ago. And that's what we know about the volcanism on Mercury.